Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy Retro Hero back again doing Garbage Pail Kids Show and Tell. This one is number six. Today's episode, we're going to talk about some recent pickups. Did a little shopping on Amazon and picked up a neat little video. Uh, have some Medici Scorpions and a complete set from a seller on Facebook's Garbage Pail Kids Marketplace forums. Going to talk a little bit about some of those foreign Scorpions. Tear into a couple of those packs and then discuss that really awesome gift that came out of the blue from my lovely wife, Miss Retro Hero, yet again. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get started. <music> Welcome back everyone. If you remember in my last video, we tore open a hobby box of original series one Topps Chrome. We were in search of one of those elusive hits you could only get from the original series one Topps Chrome. And unfortunately we did not get one. We did get some really neat refractor cards. And of course the Chrome series is absolutely beautiful. So enjoy doing that. But before we started that video, we talked about hitting that like button, subscribe button, and leaving a comment. And I would give away this Snake Pit Pat Gold Dust card. And this is number 25 of 50. So focus camera, there we go. 25 of 50 Snake Pit Pat. And a lot of you did. So I put all your names in here. For those of you that hit the like and subscribe, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. We're going to pick a name out of here. And I've got one. And the winner is, let's turn this around, Frankenfrog. So Frankenfrog, congratulations. You are the lucky winner of this Gold Dust Snake Pit Pat card, number 25 of 50. I will go ahead and reach out to you and get a hold of you. Um, Frankenfrog, I, if I remember correctly, I think you also have a YouTube channel and you do Garbage Pail Kid pickups. So um, if that is true, then make sure you pay this forward. But uh, congratulations, you have the Gold Dust Snake Pit Pat card, and again, number 25 of 50. So Frankenfrog is the winner. And don't worry, folks, if you didn't win this type of round or this time around, there will be plenty of chances again in the future for everybody. Let's jump right into a few things that came uh, in the mail over the last week or two. And again, this is uh, Retro Hero Show and Tell number six. A few episodes ago, I alluded to this Garbage Pail Kids cartoon series. Now, if you remember, um, CBS was decked to put this out. If I remember, I think it was 1989 could have been 88, but I'm, I'm thinking it was 1989. You know, I was 14, 15 years old, um, still collecting baseball cards and, of course, collecting Garbage Pail Kids. Um, they had stopped those, I believe, the series by then. But this was advertised in the paper as going to be on Saturday morning cartoons. And I was still watching cartoons at that time, man. Uh, I... I to be honest, I'd still watch them today um, if they were were as good as the cartoons were in the 80s. Now, I got up and this was supposed to be on, I think the time slot for it was 8.30 or 8 o'clock. And it didn't air the first week, but it was in the TV guide in the paper. And then the second week it was in the TV guide, it didn't air the second week. And I didn't know why, uh, but I do today. Lots of, of research done on this by many different people. A lot of parent groups and religious groups, 
you know, they, they hated the Garbage Pail Kids in the 80s, and they did not want this cartoon to come out. This was, was just the downfall of society, according to them. So they blocked it. They wrote petition letters, and they wrote CBS and said, you know, if you air this, we're going to boycott uh, the channel. We're going to boycott advertising on your channel. Um, and the advertisers got nervous and CBS got nervous and eventually just went and pulled the cartoon. Now they did do, uh, the first season, which is 13 episodes, as you can see here. And if you want to watch these, you don't have to buy the DVDs or the Blu-rays. You can go ahead and just watch them on YouTube. They are, uh, you know, I'll be really honest. They are eighties cartoons, um, through and through, and, and they're not very good. They're they're better than the original movie. <laughs> well, I guess there is only one Garbage Pail Kids movie right now. Um, they are better than the movie, but not by much. Um, but I I did pick this up from Amazon. It was a really good price. Um, it is still sealed, as you can see, and you know I'm just adding it to the collection, and I'm excited to own it. And you are welcome to pick that up too. I think it was not um, super expensive, maybe 10, 12 bucks. Um, on Facebook's Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace forum, um, Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace, uh, GPK Till Death, he's also on Instagram, um, GPK Till Death is a seller and he worked a deal with me and I picked up these um, Michi Scorpions, um, which are essentially foreign garbage pail kids from Italy. Now, I believe these came out in 89 or 90. Um, it says 920.89. Um, they are Italy. This is the box. And when I purchased the set, I got the box. So you open up the box here. And, and as you can see, Michi Scorpions. And then, of course, it has a place for the wrappers and the original cards to fit. These are the wrappers that, that actually came from the box. He gave me a couple of these wrappers and you just tear them open and your cards would be inside. Uh, wrapper on the back, you know, I don't, I don't really read Italian nor do I speak Italian, but uh, um, really cool. I, I don't have, with the exception of a few more current Bikini Coon cards, I don't have a lot of foreign garbage pail kid cards in my collection but uh as you know um you know there's almost only so much of this you can really collect and i'm getting to that point now where I, i'd maybe like to expand a little bit on what i'm collecting so i'm going to get into some foreign cards and we're going to discuss those more in, in in upcoming videos. However, um, he also threw in a couple freebies. This is a GPK till death. Again, you can follow him on Instagram. This is a sealed pack of the 1990 Scorpion cards. I believe these are Scorpion 2, come with five sticker cards. It is completely sealed. Um, they feel about the same size as the original Garbage Pail Kid cards. I don't know if you can kind of see on the back, you can see that there are cards in there. Um, but really cool. I'm going to leave this unopened. You know, I don't have a lot of foreign garbage pail kid cards, so especially sealed packs. So really nice addition to my collection. And then he threw a Scorpion 2. These are tattoos, um, special stickers, tattoos. They say they transfer holiday special Scorpions. And this one is sealed a little harder to see through. You can kind of see there's, there's a card in there. It feels pretty thin. So I'm assuming there's maybe just one or two cards in there. But they all came out at the same time by Topps. Um, it looks like 19, late 1989, early 1990. And then he threw in another uh, empty racker, a wrapper of the Scorpions. But the set I bought is uh, a set of the Michi Scorpions, which essentially are um, mini Garbage Pail Kid cards. Now, they're pretty cool. There's uh, Nasty Nick, Evil Eddie right there, and Hot Rod. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that's hot, right? I don't remember exactly who that is. And again, I don't speak Italian, but um, as you can see, it's got a little line here. If I can get that camera to focus. So right there, you'd kind of bend these and then steal them off and put them in the sticker album. I have seen a lot of the albums in the past. Um, they're pretty cool. So um, back at, again, I don't speak Italian, but this is what the back of the cards are like. They are not really... 
um, like cardboard material. They're like a, a sticker material, high gloss front, maybe a heavier sticker. And then of course, he gave me a full set, but but they come with a whole bunch of different types of, of cards. They have two and then they have four, which are looks like these are regular postage stamp sizes as well. So some of the characters I recognize, some of them I don't, which is kind of a lot of the fun of going through and taking a look at these cards. They are about the size of regular Garbage Pail Kid cards. So if you'd like to pick up a set of these for yourself, they should slide into those nine pocket protectors uh, relatively easily. So a really, really large amount of cards came in this set, as you can see. Um, so I, you know, for the price I got for these cards for, I'm I was pretty stoked, you know, again, I'm, I'm GPK on a budget and, you know, there's Italy, there's of course got to be something about soccer, right? Um, or football if, if, if you're a foreign viewer, but, uh, and again, I, I apologize about the camera focusing issue. I don't know what that's, uh, what's going on today, but, uh, regardless, a lot of these cards I haven't seen in the past, um, but a really, really good set of these. And again, I mentioned I'm GPK on a budget. I got these for a really good price. So, Thank you, GPK Till Death. Um, again, you can check him out on Instagram. Go ahead and follow him. He's got lots of cool stuff. And obviously, he's got some pretty good prices if you want to pick up some foreign Garbage Pail Kid cards. So thank you for the set. Super excited to add that to my collection. Um, we're going to jump right into something my wife, uh, Miss Retro Hero, bought for me. You guys, this thing is huge. So I, I'm just gonna, I'll have to pick up the camera really for you and, and back it up a little bit. So, um, you know, here's my hand and the box. So this is a Funko Pop, but it's an oversized one, Adam Bomb. If you look in the box there, he's got his little um, detonator controller. This is really cool. Um, I don't know where she got this from, but I was super excited that this came in um huge huge box um it says collect all the gpk three inch tall really big mystery minis um adam bomb dead ted ghastly ashley leaky Lindsay. you got tv stevie hot scott new wave dave nasty nick bony tony mad mike alligator and clark Kant. um i have never seen another one of these Really, really cool Garbage Pail Kids celebrating 30 years. Um, never seen another one of these. I have seen an Atom Bomber two in the past. Um, I saw one on the Marketplace forum and it was signed, mm, I believe like signed by uh, Joe Simcoe or someone like that. And someone was asking a pretty penny as they should uh, with a Simcoe autograph. But uh, man, this is a really cool addition and I was super excited to get that from my wife. Again, unsolicited, it's not my birthday, although, <coughs> excuse me, that is coming next month. So I'm, I'm hoping we're gonna get some other cool things. Um, but she just picked that up because, well, she's amazing. And it's, what a great, you know, for your, your partner, your spouse, um, your husband, your wife to support your collecting, especially when it's, you know, things like sticker cards, you guys, um, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, you know, this is, you know, this hobby does cost money. Like I said, you know, we GPK on a budget, but, uh, it's still amazing when your spouse will go ahead and support something that maybe they're not into, but you're into and occasionally pick up really cool gifts. So sweetheart, thank you so much. A really welcome addition to my collection and I will treasure it for a long time. We're gonna keep this video a little shorter, but I do wanna rip open a couple of packs because I enjoy sharing those with you. Um, I've got lots of stuff to rip open. These are, um, or in future videos, I mean, but we're, we're gonna do two packs today. These are Garbage Pail Kids, the all new series seven. Um, look for the locomotion cards, pop up, puzzle cards, action punch outs. And I've opened a couple of these in the past and I believe we've got a punch out card. And then we've got 10 sticker cards from one of my favorite series, the brand new series two. And look for special rare cards inside randomly uh, inserted. So we're gonna take a look at what could potentially be in here. And I'll read this to you since we're having some camera focusing issues today. 
Um, you've got uh, black bordered one and two, gold bordered one and seventy, foldy cards one and four, glow in the dark stickers one and six, um, a sketch card one and seven hundred and fifty seven, printing plate one and twenty five hundred, and it says glow in the dark printing plate one in eighteen thousand four thirty two. So you know I'd, I'd love to get that glow in the dark printing plate. It doesn't feel like that's in here, but let's tear this open. Again, this is one of my favorite sets. I do have a full set of these already, but uh, I do enjoy opening packs with you guys here um, watching these videos. So we've got Fred Chase. Fred Chase, very, very cool. Got a little alien inside of Fred Chase. And Free the Spirit. <laughs> Free the Spirit. Very cool. Shane Shovel. I like Shane Shovel. Really like these all new Garbage Pail Kid cards because they had a nice, nice sheen to them, but they're still uh, die cut like the originals. Mixed up Michelangelo, um, Jake Mistake. This is going to be our puzzle piece, I believe. Is that right? No, this is Brainy Janie. Oh, this is a glow in the dark. So really neat. I, I've never got a glow in the dark uh, before. And it looks like the glow in the dark, it'll be hard to see on camera, but you can kind of see those little lines. Looks like she's got a little hamster wheel uh, going on in her head. Can, can you kind of make that out? See if I can get a better lighting on that for you. So yeah, it's really cool. Glow in the dark card. So my first glow in the dark card, very, very awesome. I'll set that aside. Uh, reptilian killing drippy dan iconic figure and of course he's got the most likely to get a head award and then you got horton jordan <laughs> and haunted forest <laughs> very cool very nostalgic i love these um super excited to get a glow in the dark card again i haven't got one of those um, when i bought this set i just bought it from someone on I believe, Facebook forums. So very first glow in the dark card, Brainy Janie. We're gonna move right along to this Garbage Pail Kid all new series seven. And I apologize on this last one, I said these were all new series. They are actually the brand new series and brand new series two. So now we're moving on to the all new series seven. So let's tear open this all new, well, before we do a look at some of these odds. So locomotion one and eight, pop-ups one and eight, puzzle cards one and eight, action punch outs one and four, no guarantee special, yada, yada. All that tops, legal, mumbo, jumbo. So we won't get a printing plate or a sketch card. <laughs> so one of these days I'm gonna pull a, a sketch card or a printing plate live with you guys and, and we'll celebrate together. But uh, we did pull that Ada Bomb from that series 15 pack a couple of weeks ago. That was pretty cool. So Luke, our Lion Ryan, little Pinocchio theme checklist back, Lion Ryan, Michael Victim. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And this one is Gator Abe. So looks like they're dumping Gator Abe on the coach there. And boy, these are really stuck together. Next one is Tear Eyes. <laughs> Tearing her eyes. And Peon Leon. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the ski lift so much like mad magazine i mean if you look at these cards that's kind of where they took their their uh their art from it looks like so sculpted scott you got gpk doe back there sculpted scott very cool um peon leon's brother or sister ski cliff <laughs> ski cliff and then we've got Ty D. Knot. <laughs> so Ty D. Knot. Very, very cool. Breaking Brandon. Looks like Brandon is breakdancing and breaking a lot of other things. And he's got a little He Man action figure in his hands there. That's cool. And Diver Dawn. So Diver Dawn got blasted with the submarine bullets it looks like uh 
you know, whatever. So, but uh, very, very cool. We didn't get any of those special specialty cards in that pack, but it was still quite a bit of fun to open. And again, beautiful cards. So short episode this time. Again, if you would like to out there, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see, what you want to see more of. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys, GPK fam. Stay good to each other. Stay healthy. And talk to you again. Bye.